podcast, kolejny odcinek. Musimy odgadnąć to hasło, co zakończymy. Wtedy musiałem niestety... Interesting. Caroline's fiance called off the engagement. To wiem, ale bym chciał to zobaczyć. Bo szukamy jakiejś daty. That did it. I'm impressed. So you're a code breaker too? Hardly. Ta pierwsza nie pasowała, bo tam był za za długa była tak za długa. Pasowała. Notka. The date on that note is this weekend. That must be where Caroline is staying. I need to see her in person. It's a letter to Caroline from her ex-fiancé. I wonder what practicalities her fiancé is talking about. Was it related to virginity? Infertility, scandal, money. I wonder what practic. That's an accounting ledger. The ledgers for the family's finances. Caroline appears to be very involved in the running of the estate. These numbers don't look good. I need to speak with Caroline. We can go. I've gotten everything I can from this room. Yes, you did. I can see why Dexter considers you a prime asset. What do you mean by that? A prime asset is someone of military or political importance. Someone who has a unique skill. Someone worth protecting at any cost. Hmm. I'm not sure I'd like guarding a person like that. Someone has to. Let's go. I don't have anything to ask him at the... This place is exceptionally private. It seems to cater to VIPs who don't want to be found. The lanterns are a romantic. I don't think Caroline would be swayed by flowers, and I have no one else to give them to. The garden is surprisingly subtle. Except for those flowers. I've never been partial to oddly shaped shrubberies. It's a pleasant enough day for sitting outside. 
As lovely as this place is, I... Mademoiselle Alphonse? Oui? I'm Malachi Rector. Perhaps someone from the American consulate told you I'd be getting in touch. Oui, I did receive that message, but I did not realize it would be so soon. How did you find me? Oh, it wasn't so difficult. May I join you? Very well. What can I help you with? Tell me about yourself. Me? I have no amusing stories to tell. My life is my family and my family's business. That is all. That doesn't sound like an exciting life for a young woman. Exciting is overrated. Tell me about your mother. There is nothing to tell. She does very well. Thanks to some pond antiques, I take it? Who told you that? I visited your home. I could see for myself. Nothing illegal has been done. I knew the antiques were being sold. I do not wish to discuss it. <laughs> Tell me about your father. Henri Alphonse is a well-respected man. You can ask anyone in France. How is the state of the Alphonse family business? That is a very personal question. That bad, is it? You're here with Etienne? Yes. The same Etienne who's business partners with your father? Yes. Isn't Etienne a little old for you? Then again, your fiancé, Gerard de Villiers, he was not a young man either, was he? How could that be any possible business of yours, Mr. Rector? Where is Etienne now? He had some business calls to make. He is very dedicated. What is your relationship with Etienne? You can see what kind of place this is. Surely you can guess. I've heard you have an interest in the Paris catacombs. I am interested in French history. The catacombs are full of it. Have you heard of Saint Armand? He was a knight during the Crusades. Supposedly, he's buried in the catacombs. <coughs> I never heard of him. You should ask a cataphile. A cataphile? People who explore the mines under Paris illegally. It's kind of an urban sport. Interesting. Have you heard of a 13th century French monk named Benedict de Montfroy? No. Who was this man? I wish I knew. I'd like to discuss your family finances. <gasps> Did you get that? Does it matter? The point is, I have it. Uh, everything will be paid. Every debt my father has, I made sure of it. There is no reason for the police to get involved. Hmm. And how will it be taken care of? Etienne, he will cover the debt and more besides. That's very generous of him. We are to be wed. Naturellement, he would not allow my family to be ruined. Your father ruined the family fortune? That must have been quite a trick. I thought it was an empire. My grandfather made mistakes as well. But my father, he's ill. 
He has an addiction to gambling. I hope you will not feel the need to make that public. Our name is all I have left. I'm not interested in gossip. So you intend to save the family business by marrying your father's business partner? Etienne is an intelligent and successful man. It works well for everyone. You're marrying Etienne? Isn't he your father's age? He is 55. It does not matter. Passionate love, it fades. My parents' marriage taught me that. Being married to Etienne will suit me very well. I'll leave you for now, mademoiselle. Goodbye, Mr. Rector. I've learned enough about Caroline to complete my analysis. I already know I'm trying to match Caroline to Livia Drusilla. I just need to see if she fits the pattern. Tutaj niby brak dopasowania. Bo tu jest z miłości, a tu z powodów biznesowych. Tu jest bankructwo, więc też.
Crnovica jest potopieniem Kapetygenu, bo tutaj jest posłowanie. Those last few data points have done it. Caroline is not a match for Livia Drusilla. I'll text Dexter and let him know. Looks like we're going to Zurich. But there's one more thing I want to research before I leave Paris. I suppose I could fill Walker in on the investigation. Mr. Walker? Yes, Mr. Rector? Tell me about your time in the army. What do you want to know, Mr. Rector? How old were you when you joined? Twenty. I knew I wanted to join the military, but if I finished college first, <coughs> I could enlist as an officer. So I did. I enlisted as a second lieutenant right after graduation. How long were you in the military? Ten years. Why did you leave the military? I spent the last 18 months of my service training foreign armies to disable protesters. Their own people. I couldn't do it anymore. It's getting really bad out there. No worse than it's always been. No, trust me. It's worse. <laughs> what did you study in college? I have a BA in military history. You said you were from Indiana. Did you grow up there? Yes, I grew up in a small town. Didn't leave it until I went to college. You've never heard of an agency called Frita? Not until you took me there. I've made a few phone calls. None of my buddies have heard of them either. They seem to excel at staying under the radar. So, I take it you're supposed to identify a woman who might become Senator Markham's wife, and this is somehow tied to a Roman emperor. I don't suppose you'd care to enlighten me. Here's what I know. So, Senator Markham is supposed to be Augustus. And if he marries the right woman, he'll become president and save the global economy? If you take the Mobius theory seriously, yes. Or at least, he has that potential. Do you? Trust the Mobius theory? It seems absurd, but my... Let's just say I can't entirely dismiss it. Thank you for telling me. Probably not the smartest thing I've ever done. You told me because you know you can trust me. And you can. I don't trust anyone. Yes, sir. Tell me about your family. I have one sister. She's married and lives in Ohio. And your parents? They're still living. I don't suppose you have any more brilliant jokes. Hell yeah! What's brown and sticky? Do tell. A stick. It's not really funny, is it? <laughs> what about a wife or a girlfriend? I haven't been in one place long enough to have a relationship. Did you hear about the Buddhist at Yankee Stadium? No. He asked the hot dog vendor to make him one with everything. Um, <laughs> yes, I see. Tough crowd. Why were the journalists all gathered around the crater? What crater? Uh, it's just a hole in the ground. Doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It really doesn't. Fine. Why were the journalists all gathered around the crater? They were hoping for a story that was a little meteor. I see. Are all these jokes of yours word puns? Pretty much, yeah. About my investigation into Caroline Alphonse. Yeah? Caroline is not the one we're looking for. Dexter wants us to head to Zurich to look at another candidate. I'm ready whenever you are, Mr. Rector. Listen, I appreciate the fact that you've told me more about this mission than you have to. I've taken no oaths of silence. Even so, I'm glad you trust me, at least that far. You asked about my family earlier. I think I mentioned I have one sister. She's married and lives in Ohio. My parents are alive, 
but we don't really speak. Haven't since I was in college. Why not? We have opposing views on a few minor things, like how I should live my life. I don't suppose you really give a rat's ass, but you asked, so that's how it is. Thank you. Why was the skeleton lonely? He was bony. No, that's not right. He was skulking? Nope. Nice try, though. He was lonely because he had no body. Oh god, that's pathetic. Great, isn't it? What did the pate say to the stuck-up filet mignon? I wait breathlessly for the answer. What do I look like? Chopped liver? <laughs> <laughs> like that one, did you? <laughs> That's all for now. As you say, sir. It's no use. Let's 
rodzice, rozłąka z rodzicami. Ten odpada. Rozłąka. Nie, trzeba podejść do tego poważnie. Hmm. Zaatakowany przez kończyków, jak nie tylko jest wszystkiego pochodzenia. Ten, ten, ten nie pasuje.
dojście na zysku porzucił armię, by stracił wiele swojej misji. Nie zrobię tej analizy chyba teraz, bo nie chcę mi się myśleć. Dobra, koniec tego odcinka, następnego odcinka analiza, bo po prostu nie chcę mi się myśleć.